Julie, you know Julie. Hi guys, welcome to Haunting Hunters. We're back out again and we're here at Croxton Abbey. This place is unreal, as you'd have seen in the intro and the photographs. Over 70 monks lived here and it actually had an infirmary as well, which we're going to investigate in a moment. Uh, the feeling is quite eerie here, there's owls tweeting, some weird noises going on, so hopefully we're going to have a good night. We'll get the necrophonics going, we'll get the cat balls out, we'll get the REM pod out, EMF meter, and see what we can get coming through. Obviously, Julie's here, I'm here, and tonight... Hello. <laughs> Charlotte's joining us. Uh, it's been a while since Charlotte's been out with us, so you know, hopefully, we're going to have a good night. Thank you to everyone that subscribed. We're up to about 626, so that is absolutely th fantastic. Thank you very much to everyone that's come into the lives as well, talking to us, chatting. Please, anybody that still wants to, you more than welcome to come into the live chats. We have a little chat about the paranormal, but we also have a laugh and it gets you guys involved. So please don't forget to smash that like button for us guys, share it as much as you can, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for us guys, it really helps. So really hope you enjoy this one, and we'll get set up, and we'll see you in a second. Right guys, so we've just done our intro, we're now walking down to the infirmary part. Um, we feel that we're gonna get the most most activity are down there. I can't actually see where I'm walking because I've got the light on myself. Um, so we're going to try down there first. We'll get do a bit of calling out first, see if we can get anything. Uh, we'll try the necrophonics, um, see if we can get that going. I'll get the REM pod down, the EMF meter, and see if we can get anything first. So we're just coming into the, the old infirmary. I will put some photographs on the intro and we're actually here now i'll just show you some of the remaining parts of it uh, unfortunately it's totally outside there's just a few room walls but this is where the actual infirmary would have been so as you can see the old walls are here i'm presuming that's an old part of an old bench or even a bed i'm not sure um, but the actual you know, the actual foundations are actually still here. They're all still here. So what we'll do, we'll get set up guys. Um, we'll get everything set up and we'll get back to you in a second. Right guys, we've got everything set up. We've come into the infirmary part of the, of the abbey. Um, there was meant to be over 70 monks here. Um, so I'm hoping we're going to get a few coming through. Um, as you can imagine, in them days, um, medicine-wise, there wasn't really much you could do. Um, so you just imagine how many people were ill, how many monks were ill in this infirmary, um, and how many actually deaths probably happened in this area. Um, so we're hoping to, to get quite a good bit of uh, activity. So we've actually got everything set up. So we've got the vent pod set up, we've got the ball set up. Everything's ready to go. So hopefully we might get some interaction through them. And what I'll do now, I'll get the necrophonics going. Um, just to see if we can get things going straight away. Um, obviously with it being a religious place, um, I might actually use the Solomon app. Um, whether the Lord's Prayer might entice them to come in, but obviously it does go backwards. So is this actually going to upset them and wind them up? Um, I don't know, but we will try it. So we'll kick off, we'll get the necrophonics going, and hopefully something good will happen. See you in a second. Close to us. Yeah, you're not dead close, though. No. They're quite far away from you. Right, here we go. Are you ready for this? Mm. Here we go, let's get the necrophonics going. So, good evening to any spirits. 
that may be here tonight. If there's any monks in the area, can you come forward and speak to us, please? We believe we're in the infirmary part of the abbey. Did you die here? Can you come forward and tell us? you sing for us? Strange lights, anyway, guys. I don't know what they are. <laughs> are you trying to show yourself to it? <laughs> Was this a holy place? Is there anybody that would like to step forward and tell us your name? Any monks that used to reside here? And it dates back to 1157, if not before. Is there a few of you here? <laughs> Is there a few of you that we saw? Oh, it's Ariel. Oh, my life. It's actually Ariel. I thought there was actually some weird lights there. So if there's any monks here, can you step forward and be prominent for us? Come and say hello to us. Can you sing for us? As in you should do like in a male choir or your hymns or prayers. Kill, kill. That just said kill, kill then. Can he step forward? Can he touch one of us? Can he step forward and touch one of us? We don't mean any disrespect to harm, we just want to come and talk to you. Can you come forward and talk to us? 
If there's somebody here, can he come forward and touch one of these devices for us? No. They won't hurt. They won't hurt you. They just light up or flash. And one of them just makes a beeping noise. If you can come near these, or put this device to red, can you make it flash to red? How are you? How are you two feeling? You feeling all right at the minute? It doesn't feel anything frightening as yet, does all scary. So can you come forward and talk to us? Is there any monks here that used to reside in this abbey? Why has he gone so quiet? Got him. That's what I say. Oh no. Yeah, possibly. Do you like him being here? Is there anybody that resides in this firmary? In firmary? Oh, wow. That might actually be car red lights in the distance on our beam. <laughs> Either that or we're getting, uh, we're getting invaded by aliens. <laughs> Can you sing for us like you used to do in the church? Is that somebody walking? I can hear footsteps. That's footsteps. I heard footsteps. Yeah, I think that's a house. Something over there. What the fuck is that? What the hell was that? What was it? Man. That was weird. It's like a yeah. His torch. Let me just swap over. Man. Let me just change to Division. Weird. 
So guys, we've actually just did somebody walking. But there's actually a, a hedge here. Let me see if I can pick the edge up. Let me see where I'm going. We've just heard walking over here, but there's a hedge right here. Whether it used to be an old footpath, I don't know. What? This what, sorry? I think I can see a chimney. Possibly over there. But that was def that was definitely footsteps. That was definitely footsteps. Hundred percent. But I thought we heard him over there and behind us over there, where Charlotte is now. Both sat like something was walking around us here. That's why I turned the speaker off. Like something was walking around here. Man, that's weird. I don't know if that's an old... Oh, that's a bird. I don't know if that's an old... where an old seat would have been, or it was the base of the bed. Could that have been the, the legs of the bed? Mm. Where somebody might have died, or received treatments, I don't know. Man, that's weird. So we've, we've just had some footsteps, um, both sides of us, but where we've heard one side, it's actually a hedge as you've just seen. So nothing could be walking there. And it was that loud, I had to turn the necrophonics off. And really the ground here is, is grass, so you can't really, well, you wouldn't think that you'd hear footsteps um, on the grass. But yeah. We, we thought it was quiet, but we think things are sort of ramping up a bit now. Um, so we'll get the necrophonics going again and see if we can get any coming through, hopefully. Uh, turn it back on. I'll have to turn it back on again. I turned the speaker off really quickly. Um, I'm going to see the buttons. Bluetooth mode pairing. That was definitely weird. Connected. Right, let's try again. I'll keep my finger on the off button just in case. So, was that somebody here? Did we hear you? What was that? I'm going to turn it up a bit. Volume maximum. Yeah, it was more female than a male, wasn't it? That makes that made you jump. So if you're here in this abbey, this old abbey, can you step forward and say hello to us? Have we heard you? Can you, can you sing for us? Can you come and touch one of us? What the hell? Him. You can come and touch me if you'd like to. You're all male here. Brothers. Did you hear that? Brothers. Brothers. We're more than brothers. Wow. You were all brothers. Is that one of the monks talking to us? Wow, yeah. that's unreal. <laughs> so you were brothers all yeah. in this church, in this... <laughs> in this abbey. <laughs> Who was in charge of you? Do you know what year it is? 
It is now. somebody walking with us now in the Abbey? Us to leave. Is it is this sacred ground? <laughs> Same as always, guys. If you hear anything, if you see anything, please let us know in the comments. <laughs> So if you don't want it here, come and show us. Come and tell us to move. Or to leave. If you don't want us here, tell us to leave now. Tell us to get out. If you don't want us here, come and tell us and get out. There is actually a fall vehicle going past at the minute. We'll just let that go past. So if, if there's somebody here, tell us to leave now. Or come and shove one of us. Come and push us out of here. When you were in this in this abbey, in this infirmary, did you need help? Do you still reside in this abbey or do you believe you're still here? Do you still think this abbey's still full structured? It's still here. I keep hearing walking over there, I do. I keep hearing walking over there. For some reason. So can you be more prominent for me? Somebody more prominent come forward. I think what we'll do is turn this off a second. What? If Julie can just turn the, the app off on my phone. 
I mean, what we'll do, I think we'll just listen out for a minute, because I think we're missing a lot of stuff. I think we're, we're missing a lot of stuff, because obviously the necrophonics is on, and sometimes you can't hear much because of that. And I've just seen a light right there in that edge, or by the hedge, like a flash. Did you hear that? Yeah, I was hearing that. What, right here? Oh, is it in the house? At least we know what it is. That's the main thing. So, yeah, I think we're going to be quiet for a minute and just see if we can uh, we can actually hear anything. Um, like I say, I think we're missing a lot because we've got the necrophonics on. So we'll just stay quiet for a bit and just do a bit of calling out, see if we can uh, pick anything up a minute. So if there is somebody here, can you come and make a noise for us? Can you come and touch one of us? Come and grab Julie. Sorry, you know I have to. Oh, grab Charlotte. Or can you do some of the choir singing you used to do, male, male singing? Is that a house? There's a house over there. Well a little what a field down of that but I think it was somebody shutting the door very loudly. If you're here, come and set one of these devices off for us. They won't hurt or harm you. They light up and flash and one of them beeps. If there is a monk here who wishes to communicate with us, step forward. We don't mean any harm or disrespect to yourselves, we just wish to communicate to see if you exist. Can you step forward and talk to us? What I think we'll do. So we've tried the infirmary. Not, I, th I think a few little bits come through. I actually got when I said if there's any monks here, and it said brothers, which obviously monks were brothers. Um, so that's quite good. I think what we'll do, we'll move on over into a different part of the abbey uh, and try that, where actually the the main walls of some of the main walls are still actually standing. Um, as you'd have seen in the photo, some of them were absolutely huge. The size of the building back in the day must have been amazing. Um, so we'll, we'll move around, see if we can get anything around there. Um, it doesn't really feel anything prominent here. So we'll move further around and see if we can actually get anything around there. So we'll see you in a second. Yeah. So, guys, we've just walked around the abbey a bit more. We've actually found what looked like the old, some of the old tombs, possibly what the monks would have been, some of the monks or special people would have been buried in. You can see where the head would have been. And there's even like a, like a drain as if to drain the blood or something. It's... It's weird. Was it a punishment chamber or something? There's a few of them. That's really weird. That one's actually full of water, but... Uh, 
that's not, I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, there's a little, little one over here that for somebody to lie in, it must have been tiny. But what I'm going to do, guys, because I know what you're all thinking now is, you want me to lie in there, don't you? Put it in the comments. Am I lying in there? Or shall I get Julie in there? Do you think? Drop it in the comments, guys. What do you think? But this is nuts. Absolutely crazy. For actually to have an air head and then the body is crazy. So we'll just go and check the board. Oh, some more. Is that some more here? Or is that. That just looks like a foundation hole, really. But there is one over here. Oh, there's two more, I think. Yeah, two more. Wow, they're weird. That's strange. I'm just going to have a look at the board and see what it says. What does it say? Several stone coffins can still be seen near the high altar. They are the tombs of the founding family and other benefactors. Oh, wow. So they are actually old tombs. So there would have been somebody actually buried in them. Right, guys. Shall I go for it? Or should we actually get Julie in one? Drop it in the comments, guys. I want to see me or Julie in the comments. Or Charlotte. Or all three of us. Drop it in the comments, guys. Wow. So, back in the day, I don't know if you can see it very well because of the light. Let me just drop the light for you, bit. So, back in the day, that should have been some sort of what it should have looked like back in the day. Must have been quite grand to be honest. 1157, the first existence of this, and it was actually rebuilt, the high altar, in 1190. So, you know, it's quite an old building, really. Um, these churches were inspired by the French designs um, and the actual patrons of the abbey uh, who owned the land before it was actually given to the, the monks. Supposedly, this is their this is their tombstones up here. So I think I'm going to go for it. I'm actually going to go for it. I'm lying one. So what do you reckon? Am I doing it? I don't know. I'm six foot, but we're going to find out. I'm really not liking that all. Are oh, they blood sucking worms? Blood sucking worms? <laughs> well, I'm lying there. Are you still recording? Yes, I'm recording. Are you going in first? Are you taking the challenge? I'll take the challenge. Jews doing the challenge? World exclusive, guys. I've not told her yet, but she's doing an awful long challenge lying in there. Awful what? Half an hour challenge. I don't know. No, she's hour. not. <laughs> no, I'm not that evil. Right, so <coughs> Julie's actually going to do it first. So you, these are actual tombs of the family that were. Like these are real tombs. These are actually real tombs. So head in the actual place. They would have resumed the bodies and moved them, I presume. Oh, don't say things like that. Well, they would have done, wouldn't they? They would have actually moved the bodies to a grave, a different grave. But they would have originally been lying the way you are now. Mm. Oh, shall I do it or not? Go on, go for it. You're there now. You're there now. Smash the like button, guys. Smash the like button. She's lying in what would have been someone's deathbed. Oh, things like that. Smash the like buttons, guys. And there's Julie lying. Actually inside
platoon coffin. I wouldn't fit in this. Too big. <laughs> get me out. <laughs> so we'll get Julie out now. I suppose it's my turn, is it? Is it actually my turn? Yeah. Or do you want to have a go, Charlotte? I'll do it. Charlotte's going Fermic as well? Fern McFlurry. Fern McFlurry. <laughs> We've got to get McDonald's again. <coughs> so, if McDonald's are watching, uh, we don't mind a franchise, free food on investigations, feel free to do a, a delivery, by all means. So, Charlotte's going in now. So, Charlotte's in. So, Cool. Guys, to think somebody was actually dead <laughs> in there, in that. Perfect. actually dead in there, back in, you know, the 1200s. It's quite comfy. It's quite comfy, Charlotte <laughs> likes that. So I think now it's, I think it's now my turn, isn't it? Yeah. So, I'll give the camera to Julie. And what I'll do, I'll give you... A grave eye view. <laughs> a grave eye view. A grave eye view of what you're going to see. <laughs> so, I'm doing the grave eye view. Jude's filming me. I'll just turn the light on so you can see me. I must be stupid. Stupid, we've just done it. But them pair have done it. <laughs> I was actually going to run off and, you know, not do it. So, I'm like, here we go. Lying down. I hope I fit in this. Oh my god! You have to move further yeah. down. Am I too tall for it? No, go on. It feels weird. That's it? it. So there we go, guys. That's perfect. <laughs> Man, that is weird. This really, really fits, doesn't it? Yeah. Man, you can even see my double chins. <laughs> Man, that is weird. I actually think, drop it in the comments, guys. What do you reckon? 20 minutes alone challenge, actually lying in here on your own. And in fact, I will drop a link to Three Spires Paranormal for a challenge to get Alex lying in here. And in fact, there's enough for all of us to actually do it. So, yeah, come on, Three Spires. It's been dropped, you need to fulfil it. It actually, strangely, actually does feel quite like calming. Comfy, isn't it? Yeah, like relaxed. Like relaxed. But knowing that actually someone's lay here, dead and decomposed, it's weird, isn't it? When there's a baby one next to you. And there is, where perhaps there's a baby one? There, I think it's next to you. Wow, there's actually a baby one here. Oh, wow. Yeah, there is a child one. Oh, man, that's weird. I'm actually worried about this hole that's right underneath my bottom. I know, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> um, where there's worms coming up. I'm waiting for something to come poking. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, it's weird. Um, so smash that like button, guys. I am not lying in this grave for nothing. Jew's done it. Shaw's done it. So, yeah, the challenge has been set to three spires. And in fact... John, you need to get in here as well. Ben will. Ben will spend the night in here asleep with a duvet. He would. He would. But, yeah, guys, challenge is set. We'll bring you to this location and you can come and spend the night. So, right. Well, I don't know if you can see my feet. <laughs> I'm literally, I'm near the end, aren't I? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, that's crazy. And there's, there's them over there as well. There's loads of them. But this literally just fits me, just. Mind you, back in them days, they weren't very big, really. Obviously, as times, as times progressed, we've evolved, and obviously, in this day and age, we are actually a lot taller and uh, bigger. Back in them days, it would be smaller in size. And I'm actually getting a really bad head now. So, I shall get out. I don't know if it's because I'm stretching, but I've really got a heavy feeling now. Oh, man. Yeah, that's, that is a really tiny grave. The one next to it. I mean, the bottom of the head isn't, and the head the piece head is The head piece isn't there. It's strange, isn't it? Would you want to be in one of them? But you can still see well, you ear. You can still see. Like, ear. 
And then there's a headpiece there. You can see the headpiece? Like there's a... As if it goes round. Like. As if it goes round. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or straight across that little door. Yeah, you can see it, can't you? You can actually see... You can actually see where it would have been. Man, that's crazy. Mm. I've not seen these before, and actually being able to lie in one is pretty cool, to be honest. But that hole, guys, is really, really f weird feeling. But why would the, why would you need that though? Decomposing. Drop it in the comments, guys. What you think? Why would you need that hole? Is it the body decomposing? Only so that one that's got a hole of the yeah, there is. That one has. <clears throat> is it because of the blood or your body decomposing? Is that where it drain away? So in fact, probably half a person is still actually underneath there. And that's why the worms are coming out. Oh, that's weird. That's mad, man. <clears throat> but we have done it. Jew's done it. Charles done it. I've done it. And that's a first for us. So definitely, guys, the challenge is set for you guys. And in fact, maybe after Christmas, I'll do a little competition and maybe get a subscriber to come out with us and actually do that themselves and maybe do a 20 minute half an hour loan challenge if you're up for it. So, should we have a look over here and see what exactly is over there? Because I haven't got a clue. Are you still recording? Yeah. Do you use a camera lady for tonight? I'm going to let you film. I can't really see much because the camera light's not brilliant. Not too bad. So yeah, there's a, another old part of it. It's quite a big site. Back in the day, it must have been absolutely unreal. The actual whole place. It must have been an br absolutely brilliant place. I think that's just a bit where the walls come down. I don't see any spiders. Oh, little spider, I think. But yeah, it's... Would have been an absolutely amazing place. It's huge. It would have been absolutely huge. The size of those pillars. Crazy. And how long it would have taken to build, unreal. Don't know if you can see how many stones are in there. You can imagine placing all them. And pretty much it's just sand and mortar, isn't it? There's not much to it really. Just little stones and rocks placed everywhere. Crazy. So what have we got over here? That's a funny mound. That's what I was like, what a random place. Could there be people buried there? Probably. It's a strange place. It, exactly. It's, there's actually a wall there though, but why would you have a mound there? That is weird. Yeah, that is strange. Really strange. Some more. Oh, wow. Yeah, some more tombs. They're a bit more decayed though, aren't they? That's actually got the lid. Still on. That's actually, the lid's actually been moved, hasn't it? That's, so that's been lifted actually off that coffin. But that actually isn't very big, is it? Oh no, that has still got the lid on. No way. So that's actually, yeah, the lid's still on it. Yeah, that part. So that, whoever was in that wasn't very big at all. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. Midges everywhere. Yeah, that wow, that's weird. That is weird. Yeah. What would you prefer, guys? Actual a wooden coffin casket? Or would you prefer one of these stone ones? I'd like to think it'd stop the worms wiggling in and eating you, but I don't know. 
this one here is actually that old. There's nothing, you know, how many hundreds of years old that is. I can't make out if that's actually the lid or was part of the actual bottom bit. So yeah, cracking place with some some good interesting uh, stuff here, but I can't understand that that hump there is strange. Why would you have that there? It's a, it's a really big place. It would have been an amazing site back in the day. I oh, wonder wow, there's even more of it over there as well. But there's a private house there, isn't there? So we won't, we won't go onto somebody's property. Right guys, we've come into another part of the Abbey. Um, it's a little bit like an old walkway. Um, so presumably back in the day, this would have been quite active with a lot of the monks walking up and down here to the prayers or to go for the, the meals or anything like that. <coughs> so what we'll do guys, I've got the necrophonics running now. So we're gonna give it um, a few minutes, see if we can get anything in here. Jews filming as well, so again, split screen. And we've got the REM pod set up in the doorway. We've got one in the doorway. I've got the EMF meter set up on the, a shelf here, presumably be where a candle might have been back in the day. And we've got a cat ball just there by this doorway. So hopefully we might um, we might pick something up walking through one of the doorways. So I've, as you've just seen with us in the tombs, smash the like button guys and share. And if you need to channel, subscribe and we'll do some more crazy stuff like that again. So let's get going guys, we'll get the necrophonics on and we'll try again. So if there's anybody here with us, in this part of the oh. Abbey, can you come forward and say hello to us? Or can you set one of the devices off for us? What was that? Is there a female that resides here? No. There does seem to be a female, doesn't there? Is there a female that resides here with us? Turn it off. Do you not like this? Don't you like this device? What, the EMF? Is it flashing? I just saw a red light. I've got a bit uh, blue in. So if you're here, can you set that device up that's on the wall? Can you make it light up for us? Julie? 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 Julie, clear as day. Oh my god. Oh my god. That has made me go cold. That was Julie, clear as day. Oh. Man. <laughs> oh my god. That was a proper full name as well. Man, that is crazy. Do you know Julie? That was Julie full on your name. Oh my God. <laughs> do you know Julie? How do you know her name? <laughs> that made me Just stand on end. It was proper full on your name. <laughs> <laughs> 
but like for it to come through solid, duly, on its own, like on its own that is crazy. I'm sure that was a solid get out. So if you know Julie, do you know no. who I am? Run. Do you not want us here? Can you show yourself to us? Or show yourself to Julie? That was mad. <coughs> Clear as day, but the thing is now, look how quiet it's gone. I feel like something's coming. I feel like something's going to happen now. I know. So if you know Julie, do you know who else is here? Can you say, can you say one of our other names? <laughs> that was a male's voice, like it was proper in here then. So the person that said Julie. <laughs> can you say her name again for us? <laughs> Is that what it's saying? I get the feeling that, I definitely get the feeling that they don't like us being here. Do you not like us asking these questions? Stop it. <laughs> Can you tell us your name? Can you come forward and touch one of us? <coughs> Do you know who we are and why we are here? <coughs> Can you set one of the devices off in the doorways for us? Did you not like us lying in those tombs? Was that let me out? Were you in were you in one of them tombstones? Does somebody know Julie? Why did you say Julie's name? We demand you to tell us why did you say Julie's name? It was actually a female that said your name though, wasn't it? Was it a, was it a man? So if the gentleman that's here that said Julie's name... Can you come forward and show yourself to us or set one of these devices off? 
he asks. I think it was. Come and show us. Come and do something to show us you want us to leave. You keep saying leave. Come and do something or show us something. Give us a loud scream or shout. Or growl. Come and push one of us. Come and push me over. Come and touch me. Why we are here. If you're here, give us a definite sign, make a noise for us. Give us a clear sign that you don't want us here. You keep telling us to leave. Give us a clear sound. Were you one of the people that were buried in one of them tombs? Set those devices off for us. <laughs> Step forward and turn one of these devices off for us. <laughs> We've come here to communicate with you. Give us a clear sign that you're that you're here and you don't want us to go. <coughs> Is one of the brothers here? One of the monks? <coughs> or has somebody followed us here from somewhere else? We're going to go soon. Can you do something for us to show us that you're here? Yeah, I'm asking. You said Julie's name. Can you do something more significant for us? Leave him. There's another car going past down the road as well. We're, we're going to leave, but you need to do something to show us before we go. Right, guys, that's the end of the investigation. Get my words out. Take two. Right, guys, that's the end of the investigation here at the Abbey. Um, yeah, wow, what a weird night. Julie's had a name said. We've got the monks who said brothers, and we've actually, first time for me, we've done about these bear, we've lain in a tomb, um, as you'd have seen. So, again, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all the new subscribers and for the old subscribers. Um, everyone that comes in our live chats, thank you very much. And keep smashing the like buttons, guys. Keep sharing for us. If you're new and you're just watching this video, please think about subscribing to us. 
Don't forget guys, hit the notification bell because we do a lot of lives every week just to get you guys involved in all the chats. So we hope you've enjoyed this video guys. Everyone's going to say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Charlotte and Julie, and of me, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.